All right, guys, Definity Internet Computer, Definity Coin Explained, Definity Crypto Explained, Programmer Reviews. I've actually been meaning to do this one for a while until my last video came out. One of you guys made a comment waiting for your Definity video. Rye Turk, there you go. I'm waiting for my ICP Definity Explained video. Well, here you go, my man. Man, I really hope I'm bringing the energy into this video because I just finished this whole halal platter of Middle Eastern food. And after you finish that kind of food, you just want to go to bed most of the time man. I already took a nap for like 20 minutes and I'm still needing another nap. That aside, actually let me know in the comments below what kind of food do you like that makes you pass out immediately after finishing it? I swear if this channel turns from a crypto channel to one of those channels where you're just watching somebody eat, that'd be pretty damn amazing. <laughs> Anyways, today's video we're talking about the internet computer and one of the, you guys actually have tried to ask me to compare to Hot which is Holochain which kind of does the same thing but they're not really exactly the same thing and I was actually biased towards Definity before actually reading the white paper. After reading the white paper, I'm like, okay, this is legit. But the thing about Definity is that not a lot of individuals or no individuals can become hosts or nodes or stakers. If you become a staker, from what I read, you pretty much need to be a data center, which pretty much means you need millions of dollars because you can't just set a data center back in your garage or something. That's just insane. So anyways, we'll talk more about that in this video. If you haven't already, please be sure to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, and now let's jump into Definity. All right, you know how I say always to read the white paper if you haven't already? Well, for Definity's white paper, don't read it because it's just a bunch of proofs and mathematical theorems on how consensus mechanism works in Definity. And most of it is pretty much a big waste of time unless you are mathematically interested in what they're doing. But most of the time as investors, we're probably not because we have no way to influence it. In addition, we probably don't have the credentials in order to talk about the theorems or math proofs that they have in that white paper. So pretty much you could just read what they have on the Definity.org site on the FAQs and use that to make your decisions of whether to invest in Definity or not. So Definity's consensus mechanism can be paired with proof of work or proof of stake to create an open participation model. Definity contains a decentralized randomness beacon that acts as a verifiable random function, a VRF that produces a stream of outputs over time. This VRF is what drives consensus. And the Definity blockchain is actually on top of this Definity beacon. Why is this VRF so important? Because it is the beacon that is used to select a leader. And the leader is the node that proposes a block. Apparently, according to the white paper, Definity achieves block times in only a few seconds and transaction finality only after two confirmations. So what they call Definity is a virtual blockchain computer that is running on top of a peer-to-peer -peer network where software can be installed and operated as smart contracts. So Definity's consensus mechanism actually has four layers. One is the identity and registry layer, which registers active participants or clients. The advantages of this over proof of work is that it keeps the clients straight. If they weren't registered, then they could misbehave and not be punished like in proof of work. In proof of work, they just lose the chance to write the next block. That's not much of a punishment. So this layer would register a new client with a stake deposit and a lockup period. And they keep track of the identity like in real life to keep people behaving or nodes behaving. The second is the randomness beacon, which we talked about. Now this is the key technology for Definity and will be used for leader selection. Three is blockchain and fork resolution layer. And this layer uses the output of the randomness beacon to rank nodes. And then there's fourth layer, the notarization and near finality layer. So they have this thing called notary or notarizing blocks. And really only notarized blocks are included on the blockchain. Notarization is not consensus, but it almost guarantees it. And the point of this is to prevent mining attacks and to speed up the finalization of transactions. So like Elrond and Algorand, Definity uses a committee as well that changes often to finalize blocks on blockchain. What's cool about Definity is that it is pretty consistent. If there were nodes that were acting weird or there are conflicts, then those nodes would simply sit out while the rest of the system continues, while the rest of the system works towards consensus. Other blockchains, on the other hand, apparently don't handle that very well. Now clients or stakers can do three things. They can participate in the decentralized randomness beacon, they can participate in notarization, and they can propose new blocks. So the committee runs the randomness beacon and the notary 
and the randomness beacon is what chooses the committee. And it is this randomness beacon that contributes to Definity's low block times. Yeah, that was pretty much the highlights of what I read in the white paper. So it was pretty similar to Elrond, Algorand, Harmony One, things like that with their committee selection and, and their randomness beacon. That's that. Now let's talk about what is internet computer actually. The idea of internet computer is pretty much, they call it the public internet. And devs can create websites, enterprise IT systems, and internet services by installing their code onto the public internet. This apparently will rid the need for servers and cloud computing services. The real goal is to undo the increasing monopolization of internet services, user relationships, and data. To restore the internet back to its permissionless, innovative, and creative roots. So the internet computer is secure. It won't depend on firewalls, backup systems, and failovers. And I assume they didn't say that this is because it's using a blockchain. It will also remove the need for database servers, which will reduce the need for database maintenance, which saves a lot of money because working as a programmer and in an IT company, it is the database maintenance that costs the most money because we need really specialized people and we have to pay them a lot in order to have them stay to maintain our databases, which pretty much serves our entire web servers and customers. Internet computer is formed with the advanced decentralized protocol called ICP, which stands for Internet Computer Protocol. And independent data centers around the world runs that protocol to combine the power of individual computers into a network where software can be hosted. So this is the part where it sounds like Holochain. If you haven't watched my Holochain videos, my hot videos, then make sure you watched it over there. But the difference here is that it requires data centers and data centers requires a lot of upfront investment. Whereas with Hot or Holochain, you can contribute as an individual by just buying one of their Holoports. So from this, from this statement, I really think that Internet Computer's competitors would really be Holochain and or Theta. But the big difference being that for Internet Computers, the stakers would be data centers, which requires millions of dollars in upfront investment usually. And it also says that Internet Computer has a minimum standard for nodes in order to ensure higher speeds, lower latency and greater reliability. And that makes a lot of sense because it kind of works in both ways. Hot has the power in numbers and internet computer is going with the power of quality because if you have high quality data centers, then you can pretty much give that guarantee that things will be on all the time. But if you also have a high number of individuals running nodes on holoports, for example, then the chances of it failing over would probably be slim, but I'm not running on either of those teams. So that's just my yes. Here's the idea behind internet computer benefits and freeing up the internet. So IC lets people build websites and systems by uploading it to the internet computer, which is ran securely and lets it interact with other users and software on the internet computer. This is in contrast to what we do now, which we have to figure out who our vendors are, either Google or Amazon to host our website or app. This pretty much cuts the need for specialists, which also means that it cut costs. So the little guy can create easily without the need for specialized knowledge and maintenance. So basically what internet computer is offering is the same security guarantees as what currently exists, but at zero cost. It also lets data persist in memory, removing the need for databases, which greatly increases scaling. And as a developer that who works with databases, working with databases and doing optimizations is a pain. So keeping things in memory will be much less of a headache, but how they do it, I have no idea. The great thing is that internet computer decentralizes thing and enables permanent APIs. Because the biggest risk with building on Google or Amazon is that they can turn you off just like they did with Parler when they did not ban Trump. Internet computer really takes away the power away from big tech giants like Facebook, Amazon, or Google who are too big to threaten or control. Let's talk about the monopolization of the internet right now. So currently when you're building an internet service, you're usually building on top of Amazon, Google, or Microsoft. This is risky because these guys have the power to shut you down at any time. IC changes things by providing guarantees to users about how their data is processed and can guarantee access to APIs or other services that the user might want to incorporate. For example, if you currently build and you have this Facebook login that uses the Facebook API, well, Facebook can revoke that access at any time and you will lose all your customers. So that's how companies can be killed by building on top of a Facebook API. As an example, IC guarantees that that won't happen because, well, 
it's decentralized. This is way less risky and favorable to any entrepreneur or programmer that is thinking of starting some sort of tech startup. And when they build an internet computer and they see the benefits, they'll tell their friends about it. And that will cause that network effect to happen, which will drive away customers from Amazon to internet computer or any other cloud services like Microsoft or Google. I've been asked to compare Holochain and internet computer, and here it is. Well, they're not really comparable because Holochain really isn't a blockchain and internet computer is. The sad thing is that individuals can't really participate pay as a staker or a node because you need to be able to run a data center. Which means if you invest in Definity or ICP, the only way to profit is for that token to appreciate. That means if you got in really, really early, then you'll likely profit. It's a really cool project and I feel like their goals are transparent and true. The consensus mechanism really reminded me of Elrond, Algorand, Harmony One, and etc. Which are all pretty solid projects in their own rights. And as a software engineer, if this can be used in the future and they actually pull through with the project, I would use it. Personally though, I like to stake and earn passive income with my crypto projects while I wait for the token to appreciate, which you cannot do with ICP if you're buying as an individual. And don't ask me for price predictions because a lot of you guys always ask me for price predictions. And I'm like, I don't know, I'm not invested in it. I'm not gonna invest in ICP. So if you wanna give a price prediction, then let me know in the comments below, let everybody else know. But there's no passive income source here for me, which is the main reason why I'm not investing in and rather invest in hollow chain instead. Well, that's it. That's my review for Definity Internet Computer. If you enjoyed it, then please smash like button, smash the subscribe button. Check out these other videos on cryptocurrencies and passive income, and I'll see you next time. Peace.